हेलो एंड अस्सलाम वालेकुम सो दिस इज द कंटिन्यूएशन लेक्चर लेक्चर नंबर 15 एंड इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ द लेक्चर आई विल बेसिकली डिस्कस अबाउट द मेन पार्ट्स दैट आर ऑफ द सोलर पैनल सो इन दिस फिगर द फर्स्ट वन इज द फ्रेम द सेकंड वन इज द जंक्शन बॉक्स द थर्ड वन इज द रेटिंग प्लेट द फोर्थ वन fourth one is over here this is the uh, weather protection plate uh, uh, the fifth uh, is the photovoltaic cell the main part uh, sixth one is the outermost surface that is the uh, uh, tempered high transmitted transmitted the cover glass and the seventh one is the outside uh, electrical bus the eighth is uh, on the plane clearance from uh, solar uh, pv uh, solar predix md with uh, permission this is for education purpose only uh, so basically uh, there are uh, six main components of a uh, uh, so, uh, solar panel uh, that uh, it may be uh, uh, discussed uh, the uh, uh the first one is the uh, sol uh, solar uh, photovoltaic cell the second one uh, is the toughened glass that uh, the toughened glass may, be, uh, may have a thickness of about uh, 3 to 3.5 mm uh, then the uh, aluminum frame uh, uh, then the eva film uh, uh, next is the Uh, rear uh, back sheet, uh, the uh, junction box. Uh, so I will uh, discuss uh, these uh, components in uh, detail. So first of all, I will discuss about the solar photovoltaic cell. Solar photovoltaic cell or PV cells convert uh, the uh, sunlight directly into DC electric energy. The performance of the solar panel is determined by the cell types and the characteristics of uh, the silicon structure that is being used in its construction with two main types being the monocrystalline and the poly polycrystalline uh, silicon the base of the photovoltaic cell is very thin vapor and its thickness ranges from uh, 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 around 0.1 mm and it is uh, made from either a positive uh, p type silicon or negative n type uh, silicon structure there are many uh, different cell sizes and configurations uh, available in the market which offer uh, different levels of efficiency and performance including half cut or split cell multi uh, multi uh, bus bar uh, cells uh, mbb uh, and uh, more recently used cells uh, use overlapping wafer strip uh, technology uh, uh, let's uh, now uh, let's uh, discuss about uh, the uh, uh, tempered high transmittivity uh, cover glass the front glass sheet uh, protects the photovoltaic cell from the wafers and uh, the impacts of from for example hail or airborne uh, debris the glass is uh, typically high strength uh, tempered glass uh, which is uh, Uh, three to four millimeter thick, and it is uh, designed in such a manner that it resists mechanical loads and uh, external temperature changes as well. The minimum uh, standard uh, impact te test, that is IEC, requires uh, the solar panel to withstand an impact of hailstones. Uh, hailstones of Uh, one inch, that is, twenty-five uh, uh, millimeter in uh, diameter, Tra um, uh, traveling up to sixty uh, miles uh, per hour, that is approximately twenty-seven meter per second. And in the event of an accident or severe impact, tempered glass is also much safer as compared to the uh, standard glass, as it Uh, has the uh, tendency to shatter into tiny fragments rather than 
uh, forming sharp gags uh, sections which can uh, harm the user uh, when uh, it is in contact with hands or face or eyes the aluminium fr uh, frame is the outermost uh, part the aluminium frame plays a critical uh, role by both protecting the edge uh, of the uh, laminate uh, section housing uh, the cells and providing the solid structures uh, to the mount the solar uh, panel uh, is fixed in uh, the uh, this frame uh, uh, to uh, let's say uh, save it from uh, the impacts that it might uh, might face the extruded aluminium sections are designed designed to be extremely lightweight and stiff so that they are capable of withstanding extreme stress and load from high wind pressures and uh, external forces that my uh, might by, um, might, might be uh, faced by the uh, solar panels the aluminium uh, frame can be silver or uh, it can be uh, like in this picture uh, ionized uh, anod anodized black and depending on the panel it depends on the uh, panel manufacturer uh, the corner sections can either be screwed pressed or clamped together uh, uh, which uh, may vary the level of strength and uh, stiffness that it may uh, provide Uh, now I will discuss about uh, the EVA uh, film. EVA st stands for ethylene vinyl uh, acetate. Uh, the EVA films, uh, which uh, uh, is a, a specially designed polymer uh, uh, that is a highly transparent plastic layer, it is used to uh, encapsulate the uh, solar cells, uh, photovoltaic cells and hold them together in one position uh, during the manufacturing process. The EVA material uh, uh, must be extremely du durable and tolerant of extreme temperature and humidity and it also plays an important part in long term performance by uh, preventing the uh, moisture and uh, dirt particles uh, uh, to come in contact with the uh, photovoltaic cell the lamination uh, uh, either side of the uh, 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 photovoltaic cell provides uh, some uh, shock absorbance uh, absorption and helps uh, the to protect the cells and interconnecting wires from uh, vibrations and sudden uh, impacts of uh, let's say hail storms and other objects uh, that might hit the uh, solar panel or during a storm for, for example a high quality eva film with a high degree of uh, what is known as cross linking can be uh, uh, the difference between the long life of a panel a failure due to uh, water in, uh, insertion uh, during the uh, manufacturing the cells are first uh, in, uh, encapsulated with uh, eva films before uh, they are being assembled assembled within the glass and the black sheet now i will uh, discuss about the back sheet it is not uh, i think outside electrical bus uh, water protection uh, outside film uh, let's discuss about the back sheet of the panel the back sheet uh, is the uh, rear most layer of uh, uh, the common solar panel which uh, uh, basically acts as a moisture barrier and final uh, external skin to provide both mechanical protection and electrical insulation the back sheet material is uh, made of various uh, polymers and plastics which uh, offer uh, different levels of protection uh, including thermal stability and long term uh, uh, resistance towards the uh, damage caused by the ultraviolet rays the back sheet layer is typically white in color but it is also available as clear or black depending upon the uh, choice of the user or the uh, manufacturer who is uh, de designing the uh, module
now uh, i'll discuss this part uh, uh, that is the uh, uh, waterproof uh, junction box uh, uh, basically it has the connectors of uh, the positive and negative uh, uh, junctions of the solar cell the junction box is a small uh, weatherproof enclosure uh, and it is uh, usually uh, located on the rear side of the panel and uh, it is needed to uh, securely uh, attach uh, the cables uh, required to interconnect the panels the junction box is important as uh, it is the central point where uh, basically all the cells uh, set uh, interconnect and must be protect, uh, protected from moisture and uh, dirt so uh, it, uh, it is uh, made a waterproof for a, the, a specific reason so that uh, the uh, connections are uh, protected uh, from uh, moisture rain and other dust particles that uh, might have capability of short circuiting the whole system the junction box also houses the bypass diodes which are needed to uh, prevent back currents which occur when uh, some of the cells are uh, shaded or let's say uh, dirty due to dust particles uh, uh, the diodes uh, only allow the current to flow in one direction and a typical uh, 60 cell uh, panel has three rows of 20 photovoltaic systems and in turn there uh, will be three bypass diodes one for uh, one for preventing the reverse current uh, to each of the three uh, uh, set of uh, cells unfortunately the bypass diodes can fail over time and may need it to be replaced so the cover of the junction box is uh, usually removable and uh, it, it is basically usually uh, able to be uh, uh, it is removable for the uh, servicing purposes although many mo modern uh, solar panels now uh, use more advanced and long lasting diodes uh, so they uh, in case uh, the lid uh, its uh, junction box lid is uh, uh, not removable the diodes can be uh, difficult to replace or they might uh, not be uh, serviceable So these are the basic uh, uh, four structures. Uh, the first one is the ground mount. Uh, this is ba basically used to uh, place the solar panels on the ground. And the second one is the track racks. And the third one is the uh, side of the pole, uh, like you can see in uh, uh, Rawalpindi. Uh, they are uh, these types of mounts are uh, basically used to run the uh, 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 solar panel based uh, uh, traffic signals uh, in case uh, there is a shortfall of uh, electricity so this is the uh, price uh, per dollar capacity comparison of uh, modules from 1980 to 2004 uh, it can be seen from these graphs that from 1980s to onward to present times, uh, the cost of uh, module price uh, per watt capacity has been significantly uh, reduced. And uh, it is uh, reported that it is uh, uh, around $3.05 uh, uh, per watt in year uh, 2020. This is also a cost comparison, the cost of uh, photovoltaic uh, electricity uh, dollars per uh, kilowatt hour and the graph is uh, from the time period of 1980 to 2004 onwards. It can be seen that the cost of the photovoltaic electricity is uh, has significantly uh, reduced and uh, uh, in uh, it has been reported that in year 2020 uh, 20, 20, uh, 2020 uh, it is around uh, 0.1 uh, dollars per kilowatt hour so this is the uh, figure of solar electricity generation cost in comparison with the, the uh, other power sources uh, 
the year is from 2009 to 2018 and it can be seen that the graph of uh, uh, the uh, solar uh, is significantly uh, re uh, reducing as compared to the uh, other uh, uh, renewable energy sources like wind, uh, coal and nu nuclear energy. So uh, this is the comparison of the renewable uh, power generation and capacity as, sh uh, as a share of uh, global power from year 2008 to 2018 and it can be seen that the graph of solar power as a percent of uh, global pa power generation is increased from uh, up to about 2.2 percent of the uh, uh, overall share of uh, renewable uh, energy sources so this is the graph of uh, evolution of uh, global annual uh, solar photovoltaic um, energy uh, that is installed uh, uh, capacity that is uh, from year 2000 to, uh, to onward 2018 uh, uh, in 2000 it can be seen uh, that uh, there was uh, a little or uh, no contribution of uh, the renewable energy so uh, sources but it is gradually changing the blue graph is of europe and it is it, ha it was a uh, maximum in 2011 and in 2018 the china and uh, middle east and africa and asia uh, uh, asia pacific these countries are uh, uh, constantly in investing for the production of uh, green energy so uh, this is the comparison of localized cost of energy and it can be seen uh, since improvements have been made made in the areas of renewable energy sources uh, the highest uh, rating is for the uh, residential photovoltaic uh, power plants uh, and uh, the lowest uh, and uh, is the utility scale uh, photovoltaic technology as compared to the other uh, technologies uh, including the uh, nuclear energy so, the, so this is the cost comparison uh, of the photo uh, uh, the 65 percent is the uh, photovoltaic uh, modules uh, 10 percent is the uh, labor cost uh, 10 percent is the other parts that are not properly uh, uh, documented and 10 percent is the cost of uh, inverters